um, he is milling a uh, pattern board for casting a bronze flywheel for a hit and miss engine. That is it right there. That is one of the iterations. He's changing it so he gets better metal flow. Right now, he's creating, he's making these little fingers larger so he create a little middle section. This is the old pattern board. And this is Alex, the designer. Hello. Alex, how many iterations of this have you gone through? Uh, it's probably the third or so. The first attempt didn't even get as far as casting it in bronze. So this will be the second attempt in bronze. Beautiful. Are you going to look at what you're doing? Sure. It's a boxy interface. Okay, so we're at the next step of the project. So I got all my patterns built. The patterns are stuck to a piece of plywood. The flywheel is exactly centered between two pin marks. I've taken literally just using baby powder in a old sock. <laughs> I love Functions that. as a mold release. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do is make one side with the same pattern, flip it over, do the second side, and we're gonna be using this down here, which is Petrobond sand, which is just sand, basically oil bonded together, so that it sticks together. So we'll sift some of that onto And so it. when you move that, it'll actually, it'll hold its form. Solid. Oh yeah, it actually is hard to get out of the mold then if you pack it hard enough. So Wow, that looks pretty. It looks good in the frame of the picture, too. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right, well, so are we going to see you uh, put the sand in? I know that's not uh, necessarily gonna... very interesting, but... I'll gonna... show you how I start. It's going to take a little while to actually do it. So we'll probably do some of that off-camera. It's like a cooking show. You see the start, okay. you, see, you don't see the middle, and all of a sudden it's done. So you're actually putting this through a... A sieve for the first couple layers, just so I have a smoother surface finish. And so it compacts a little nicer. Uh huh. It's actually working better than the last time I did this. All right, guys, we're back with Alex and Joachim. And he's just finishing up the second mold. So I'll show you what he uh, he did with the last one. Looks beautiful. You see the the guidance pins there, registration pins, and he's gonna flip this one over and he's going to drop it on top. He's going to put this I'm one over and drop it on top of this. I have to cut the gating in it first. Cut the gating first? Yeah. All right. So the riser is uh, the main port, that's that, right. and you pour. Yep, that's what you're going to cut a channel from that to the uh, the main part, the part that we're actually casting. Here we go. Yep. Pour the middle of the port, and it flows down the channel that he's about to cut. These are just some vent holes. They're vent holes, so they allow the metal to fill the part out completely without creating air pockets. What are you using to do that? Just a uh, welding wire. Riser? I don't know. Something Joe can have. Brass tube. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is a tube. Yeah. Could have been the rod I used. Tube's <laughs> probably better, anyways. That's a good How many of those are you gonna put in? Yeah, I don't know. Enough, I hope. So you just kind of got a feel for this from your last castings. You know. Yeah, it works. worked last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked pretty good. Yeah. You all saw that in my last my video from Hack Pittsburgh. We um, we showed you the, the the final piece from the last uh, design. It didn't flow well, so that's why we changed or Alex changed it to this. And hopefully this gives us better flow. He's also going to make the metal hotter, so that it uh, has more fluidity. What's the plan? Are you going to directly connect this? Yeah. 
So I'll cut here and I'll cut here and okay. hope I end up with two of them. If not, hopefully at least one working one. Are you going to have a second um, riser? No, I'm just going to cut here and cut here. So we'll do that. Because you're going you're gonna to machine this afterwards. Yeah. Give it a nice finish. Yep. Although, like on the spokes, he won't machine that because you want that nice cast look. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look. The, the contrast between the, uh, the casting yeah. and the machine metal is beautiful. Makes it awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see this thing move as a full hit and yeah, miss engine. Be awesome. That is going to be incredible. <laughs> yes. I want to ask Alex questions, but I have a feeling asking them will cause him to mess something up. Yeah, wait on questions, please. Please hold all questions until the end. <laughs> so I'm so going to do this at my home. I'm not gonna film it though because I have a feeling I'm gonna make a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> yeah, it takes a bit of practice. Helps watch lots of YouTube After videos. After the first hundred <laughs> times when I actually get it right, I'll, uh, I'll show pictures. Yeah. You'll never know how many mistakes I made. Are you gonna wanna put a vent? So, oh, wait. That, that one has a vent. One? That one that should, should that. probably put a vent. Probably. So vents, they just go all the way to the back. Yep. Which will be the top. Yeah, so that should be good there. Petrovon is some crazy stuff. It's, yeah, it's awesome. It's like wet clay. This okay. is like the adult version of making a sand castle. <laughs> yep. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get my head out of the way here. And then what he's doing right now is cutting a funnel on the other side for the metal tool. Alright, I'll get a look at that. That's actually a pretty, pretty good point. So this is actually where we're going to pour the hot metal in. Yep. Probably make that extra big. Because <laughs> remember last time we missed a whole bunch? Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Yep. I also burn it the last yeah. time. but Oh, that's a burn Probably. from the last one? Oh right. yeah, that's from us setting the crucible on the, the yep. wooden. Oh no. Because it's heavy. It's like, well, it's like oh, it's probably 20, 30 pounds. Because it's just molten metal. Yeah, from boxy to full metal. Now he's just poking the vent holes all the way through. Nice. Not very interesting, but very useful. So very you just started step. the holes when you had it flat on the table? Pretty much. I mean, I probably could have just waited until it was sideways to do them completely. Uh huh. Because I'm probably missing half of the hole. <laughs> <laughs> but, man, whatever. So, I'm one of the reasons I'm fascinated with this kind of uh, mold making is because it allows you so metal 3d printing is really really expensive yes. it's almost impossible for a hobbyist unless they won a really large lottery sum to actually be able to metal 3d print but right now this is kind of the holdover you can get very similar results well you can actually get better results this way because the selective laser centering you're gonna end up with essentially a porous material this will not be porous since we're because essentially what that's doing is it uses a laser to bond all the little granules together. Yeah. So it's like, well, it is a powdered metal process. So you end up with porosity through the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Slide this guy over. All right, I want to get a good shot of this. And I need to make sure there's no little bits in there. And cut here. Just to... Get my make a little larger of a gate. Random things clanging around in the background. So these gates right here, so one's for it to pour it in, for it to flow in, and one's just to give it, make sure that the, all the metal flows in so that you don't have pockets, right? Yeah, so this is where the metal will actually flow in. And this one right here is this one that one will fill up that medallion that one will fill up that medallion oh, okay all right and then i'm gonna machine those when i'm done and hopefully turn them into belt buckles what is the belt buckle of 
Uh, it is the Star of Life. So it's what you see on the side of an ambulance. So why are you making this? It's for a friend, right? Yeah. Friend's birthday present. Well, that's awesome. great. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, I think I am good to go. Right. There's a couple little uh, bits okay. around the holes. All right. So let's get over here. And, and then you can see I have a hole here and here. Those will drop on these pins. And I'm going to do that right now, carefully. Ooh, this is scary to watch. <laughs> and you all notice how the, those pins are guiding this action? There uh, is our completed sand mold. Sweet. So we're going to take this out back, right? And we're going to immediately pour into it, correct? Pretty much, yeah.